Okay. Now, it's time for me to do my Everything Wrong with Godzilla, King of the Monsters movie reveal. So this is my opinion, what I think is wrong with Godzilla, King of the Monsters. And the first thing that I come up, that, that comes to my mind, that is wrong with um, Godzilla, King of the Monsters is, when you have a movie like this, um, it's going to be the divided with the critic and the fan service. I'm a big fan of Godzilla. Um, Godzilla and King Kong. I grew up watching King Kong and Godzilla. And that franchise, that universe, whatever you want to call it. And now they make, now that, uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I grew up watching them. And when, when you go and see a Godzilla movie or King Kong movie, you don't care about the, um, the human character. Okay? And, um, the only time that I care about the human character is in the old, uh, Toho, uh, movie. When they go, well, man, Godzilla, Godzilla! Or, or in the old Toho, uh, Japanese Godzilla movie, it when, uh, they either try to help Godzilla, or they try, they, uh, try to kill Godzilla, and they make a robot and stuff like that. And some of these monster but Godzilla movies, the, the human character are bland, don't work, they're annoying, and you don't care about them. Like, the only character that they had that were working was in the first one, 2014 one, Blind Cranker. And he was good. Go take it back to the throne name! And, uh, like, the only negative thing that I hear about the movie is too much monster fight and not enough human character development. Well, the fan service of Godzilla don't care about the human character. And if you look at Rotten Tomatoes, um, the critic gave it 41, because they badmouthed them saying, oh, too much monster fight, not enough human character development. Well, the fan service don't care about the character development. We don't want showdown, King Kong fighting, King Dora, Rodan, Mothra, all this stuff. And... What did the audience give it? 90%. So if you go to Rotten Tomatoes right now, which I did, 41 from the critic, 90, 90 from the audience. That means the audience loves it. Okay? They're going to they're gonna plead the, the audience, the fan base, and everything. Okay? And, um, so, um, uh, so, that's the two things that I see what's wrong with the movie is the critic and the human character. The critic and the human character. Okay? You just, you just can't please the critic. Sometimes the critics are hypocrites. There's a movie franchise, a movie out there where too much action, not enough critic, I mean, not enough human character development, and they give it praise for it. <coughs> John, John Wick, uh, 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 1, 2, and 3. You, you, you see what I'm saying? And, um, uh, I should say, well, John Wick don't, don't have enough, uh, human character in development. And some of them, like, the third one is that plain on action. That's what we hear. The lot of action and the critic of Batman thing, not enough human character development. Well, they played John Wick chapter three, saying it's good, it's so good. I'm like, yeah, when I went through it, it just playing out two hours worth of nonstop action. Where, where the, uh, Character development. So, um, you either gonna hate it or love Godzilla King of the Monster. If you're a super big fan of Godzilla, the Toho Godzilla movie, you know, you know the Japanese one. You're gonna love that movie. If you're not, and uh, you're gonna bad mouth and say, uh, uh, not enough human character development. Okay, and that's why I think we're wrong with that movie. So. Um, thank you all for watching my Everything Wrong with Godzilla, and let me know what you think. Everything Wrong with, with Godzilla, King of the Monsters, and thank y'all. If you're new to my channel, hit that like button, subscribe, and thank y'all. Run, run, run! Godzilla, Godzilla, Godzilla! Thank y'all.